Hi and welcome back. The next thing we want to go ahead and do with this design is actually add the links to these different buttons that we've inserted. And we're going to do that exactly the same way as we created some links for text. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the button. And you can see here I've clicked on home. This is the same thing as highlighting some text and then um, creating a link. So I've clicked on my home button here and now I'm going to go to the properties menu and you're going to see on the properties menu I've got a link option. Now we haven't yet turned this design into a template or and set up the different pages so we're going to have to uh, pick our page names now and then later on when we go ahead and create the pages with the template we're going to use those exact same names. So for my home button I'm going to make that the index.html page and I'm just going to do that for each one of my images. So I'll click down here and then I'll click about properties and that's going to be about.html and then we're going to have hours.html and then we're going to have location again.html and finally menu.html and now I'm done making those into links. Now one thing you're going to notice is that it's placed a blue outline around each one of these images and that won't work for us. And there's a couple different ways to get rid of that um, blue outline. You could create a CSS style to affect it but for this video what we're going to go ahead and do is just select one of the buttons here, come back to the properties menu and you're going to see the border attribute here. I'm going to go ahead and click there and just type a zero. One of the things that's really important to remember is just because something's blank doesn't mean the value is none or zero. It just means the value isn't specified. So when I put a zero in there for the border around my home button, you're going to see that border disappeared. And I'll go ahead and do that for about. Again, I'm going to go ahead and take that border out. Hours. location and then finally menu. So I set the border for zero for all of those and then I'm going to go ahead and save my changes and now I have buttons that go to different pages. They don't exist yet but as soon as we create the pages um, from the template that we're going to do we'll be able to see those links work.